For over 40 years, this recipe has been in my family. Now, coming straight to your dining table from a Kansas City Steakhouse is Plaza 3 Steak Soup. Let's make it together. Let's go. I've sprinkled it with kosher salt, and you can see that kind of spices on there. It's all grass seven spice. It's fantastic stuff. I thought I'd add a little bit more depth of flavor this time, so I'm hitting it with a little bit of the seven spice. Every time you work with raw meat, make sure you do it on a plastic cutting board so you can then sanitize it. Always wash your hands and wash any surface having to do with raw meat. You know this already. I thought I'd say it anyway. As you can see, we are cutting the beef. I have a cast iron skillet at the ready with about two to three tablespoons, I believe, of grapeseed oil in there. We're going to then get a nice crust on these pieces in the cast iron skillet, and then they will braise for a little while before we add them to the soup. Now our beef is ready for the cast iron skillet. I've heated up the oil over a medium low heat. So add it, add it slowly. They will sizzle. We are browning the beef in the skillet. Trying to get a nice crust on them. I've been heating up the oil. And then we're gonna ramp up that heat. When we add the water, two cups of water. You don't want to completely submerge the beef. And we're going to simmer this for a while. This is going to help tenderize the meat. And later we will add all of this directly into the soup. As our steak is rocking away in the cast iron skillet, let's talk about the other players coming to the party. Salt, better than bouillon. A stick of butter, flour. We have diced tomatoes in a can. A whole onion, celery, and carrots. Let's get to work. As you can see, I already got half an onion done. Look at that movie magic. My wife was really helpful. She helped me uh, clean up the kitchen. This is the cleanest it's been in a long time. We're like any other home. Onion is done. Here's our celery, ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line them up, do a nice small chop. So here we go. Celery, ready to go. Okay, for the carrots, I've taken the thickest part and cut it in half. You don't want a massive piece of carrot. The trinity of flavor. Celery, carrots, onion. Time to make that roux. So stick of butter, one cup of flour. There's that stick of butter. Put it on in. All right, I don't want it too hot, but I do want this butter to melt. So a roux is a combination of a fat, like butter, and some flour. When you combine the two, it creates kind of a paste. This roux thickens our soup, okay? This is the thickener. Now that our butter is melted, okay, we're gonna slowly bring in some flour, grab a whisk. And you don't wanna rush this process. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Slowly bring a little bit more water to the party, like that, and then start, start incorporating this, okay? Look at that. That's looking awesome! You can add some lovely better than bouillon. You can also use beef stock. Turning up the temperature now. It's time to put the kids in the pool. Starting with these take the longest to cook, the carrots. So the carrots, they go in. Now, our celery, into the pool. Our onion, into the pool. Oh, would you look at that? It's starting to look like soup. Diced tomatoes, with the juice and all. Our beef, our steak that's been braised for so long, it's time to add that, add it to the pool. The heat on high. I'm trying to bring this to a boil. We finally reached a good boil. Now we can reduce our heat and simmer for at least two hours. It has been building flavor for a few hours. A cup of corn, a cup of peas. Our soup has now been on low, really low, for several hours. Let this sit for maybe another 20, 30 minutes. 
do a final taste test, see if you need any salt and pepper, and then serve and enjoy. Thanks for joining me. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Thank you.